Hi everyone. Well, let's take a look at my fountain pen collection. So today's just gonna be a very casual video because, well, I've been meaning to do a fountain pen collection video for a long time, but um, as you guys know, my channel is mostly watercolor, but yeah, recently with the No Buy 2022, I don't know, I've been so much more tempted than I have in the past. I don't know why. So we're gonna go through this together so then I won't be tempted or at least I could be like, oh, I already have fountain pens. I don't need to buy more. So this is a drawer from underneath my bed where I keep my art supplies. And this tiny drawer is basically my allowance for my fountain pen stuff. Yes, I could still fill in some more, but I don't really want it to be packed or anything. So yeah. Anyways, let's get into it, shall we? I'll, I'll put this on the side and then we'll go through each of the things one by one. So I have a syringe. Normally, this is just a backup spare because I don't know. When I bought it, it was like one buy one, get one free but this is the one I normally use. So this is how I keep the needle. It's for pulling up ink, you know, sucking up ink from the ink bottle and then putting it in the, what do you call it? What do you call these things? The ink, ink capsules? Oh, I really don't know the term for fountain pen things. Anyways, so that's what I use it for. And then take it out and then I just stick it in here to keep it so then no one gets hurt. Mainly me because I'm such a clumsy person. So that's how I keep it. Some extra needles because they didn't sell single ones. And you know what? We'll go with this one. This is actually my first fountain pen ever back when I back when I was in high school, I think, or even middle school. It's just a cheap just a cheap fountain pen. Nothing much. Um, I think it's even cracked. Like if you could see it's cracked there because I've dropped this pen so many times. But yeah, for for fountain pen lovers, that's what it looks like. Super cheap, this one. Um, I'll, I'll see if I could put the prices somewhere on the screen. Anyway, that was basically the fountain pen I've, I, I have and used for so long because that's how I got into fountain pens and, and I loved it, yeah. And then my next one I think would have to be this one. The Hero Fountain Pen. FPS 007 and with this one I honestly really didn't like it because it felt like it's just plastic it felt really cheap I guess but it it worked but then I had problems with the nib and either it was a super dry nib or it was a faulty something faulty with it so I didn't get to use it for very long, but I still keep it. And my next one would have to be this one. Um, I used to have a box for it, but I don't remember why where I kept it. Um, I don't even remember what it's called. Okay, if I find it, I'll I'll show you guys. But I feel like. So yeah, anyways, I, I bought this one because I thought it was sleek and nice and it had weight to it. And that's so that's that's where I came from this one. This one was too light. And then so I got this one because when I held it, I was like, hey, that's not bad. And it was pretty cheap. So yeah, that's that one. 
but turns out it was way too heavy for me. When I started writing or sketching with this one for a long time, it's, my, my hand and wrist started to hurt, so that's when I stopped. I really should give these away. Okay, let's, let's put a pin on giving things away later. Yeah, maybe to like, you know, students who want to get into fountain pens. I think people would love that. So my next purchase was basically sometime after I started YouTube, I think. And I was just, you know, I started seeing fountain pens everywhere and, and I really liked it. And you know, the really cute Kaweco ones in the pastel colors and whatnot. So then I did, I, I did some damage on AliExpress. And there they are. That's my AliExpress haul, fountain pen haul from way back when. Um, yeah, we'll go through each one. I'll talk about this one first because it's reflecting everything and it's really, yeah. Anyways, so with this one, it's like the Kaweco, you know, you know which Kaweco I'm talking about? The the silver one, but this one says Lan B To 3062. This one was really heavy again, but yeah, I thought I could possibly give this away. And and I think I will give this away to maybe like one of my coworkers or something. Actually, I'm not gonna go through each single one, otherwise this video is gonna be way too long. But yeah, just so you know, that's there. All right, next are the similar ones, the similar Kaweco ones. And Kaweco, I don't think Kaweco makes these, um, like the, these are, both of these are metal as well and they're heavy. And these are like Kaweco dupes, I guess. And these certainly are really heavy, but I really liked the colors. I This one's a bit too coral in real life. Yeah, I thought it would be pink and turquoise. I, I do like this color but not so much this one, but you know, they're both heavy, so I haven't really used much of it, kind of regretting it, but, but they're still cute. I might keep this one and give away these two. We'll see. Um, these, these things don't actually, oh, they do come off. I tried it once and then I sort of, okay, I don't, I don't wanna, oh no. Well, see, there you go. I sort of made a dent in the paint, not dent, scratch. Yeah, so it's it's on really tight, but the clip you can you can take it off if you want. Anyways, actually, can we see any of the nibs? Yeah, I remember when I first tested these out, the nibs were actually really really good. They wrote really smoothly. These metal ones, but unfortunately they're heavy so they're not good for me personally and then these two again looks like kaweco sports right oh uh, oh these are twist caps by the way this is one of those click ons a uh, screw cap what do you call i'm sorry i'm sorry for anyone for any fountain pen enthusiasts out there I don't know the terms. So these are the screw caps and then these are the, the click-on caps, you know. Um, these ones, I, I seem to have bought it because Kaweco only makes the sport, which is like the plastic body with the screw cap, but this one is one of those click-on, right? So, oh, I filled this with like a red ink or something. So, these ones, the nibs are also great. I think I I bought some loose nibs and then this one's a food aid nib, a bent nib. And it worked for a while, but then it became too wet and I didn't know how to fix it, so stopped using it. <laughs> All right, next are these two. This one, again, I didn't know it was heavy and 
Oh, oh, I got this because it was a food aid nib. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't get to use this much because super dry, don't know what to do with it, and heavy. Okay, give these away. Um, these, give these away. Okay. And then this one, it was really, really cheap. But look, look how it came, guys. I don't know if you could see, but... Oh, maybe I fixed the nib already. Okay, never mind. But it came like slightly misaligned. Not slightly misaligned. It, it was definitely misaligned. I think I fixed it. So, yeah. Anyways, this one, this one was pretty good for a while. But it's not the color I actually wanted. Like on the listing, it was like a purple or something. Violet-y color. But this one is just weird. So, I'm not really into this one. Maybe give this away. Okay, so far so good. And then we're gonna see my beloved real stuff collection. <laughs> Not that these aren't real, but like, these are legit. So next up, I'll show you the Kawakos first, and then we'll come back to the Sailor. So, I got these Kaweco ones at the same time. This one is a Kaweco Sport, but limited edition, so it's called Kaweco Collection in lavender or light lavender, I believe. I really like this one. I would have loved it more if it was one of those click caps because I don't know. I'm, I'm not really happy about screwing and unscrewing. It's just not me. And then I had a problem with the nibs. Yeah, I, I wasn't really impressed at the time. And then this is the Kaweco Perkeo. Um, it's the cheaper one of the two. And this one is a click cap. The color is Peony Blossom. And I really love this one. I've been using this one a lot. I've been using these in my videos. I don't know if you could tell. But yeah, so these two. Um, this one, I, I still need to fix the nib to make it more wet. But other than that, I really love the color. Um, yeah, I bought these two together, so I'm really happy about that. Lastly, we have these two. So they're both Sailor. Um, I'm showing these at the same time because they're both screw cap as well. This one seems to be plastic body and this is resin, I believe. And I'm showing you these at the same time because... Here we go. For those of you who are fountain pen enthusiasts, you probably know what I did here right off the bat. So I switched these parts because this long one here actually came with a fude nib, which is this one. It's a bent nib, okay? But after I used it for a while, this felt like it was too long for me somehow. And this nib that came with this body, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is confusing, but yeah. Basically this nib that came with this body, it's a, what is it? I, I think it's a fine. There, that says F, so that's a fine nib. And I feel like it's way too fine for my personal preference. And also because, because I use watercolor, I tend to use pigment ink and I didn't, want, I didn't want it to clog up. So I never really used that. I did try it in the beginning with like a non-pigment ink, but yeah, it, it was too... I just feel like it's too precious. So that's why I switched it. And this one is just in my drawer. And I've, my current fountain pen that I've been using is this one, which is, yeah, the Shikiyori, I believe, in the Yo Zakura color. And I, I really love it, guys. Like, it's, it's pink, it's perfect in my hand. And it's, it's a food pen. 
I wish Sailor would, would come out with more Fude pens like this size and this sort of like resin and stuff. I know they have this in the black, that's a Fude pen, but yeah, they don't have it in more colors. Can't they make more and more colors? <sighs> so that's my fountain. Those are my fountain pens. And we still have some more in the box. Should I move this a bit? This is the pigment ink I use, waterproof, or as waterproof as inks go, fountain pen safe inks go. Um, I already have a review on this ink. If you want to see this, I'll link it below or up here. We'll see. Um, yeah, I really like this ink. So this is the pink pen ink I've been using. Um, I don't use pen, fountain pens all that much regularly, but not a lot. And then these are my other two inks that I bought when I... I don't even remember. I think I, I think I bought these around the time I got Koweko and and these sailors. But yeah, so this is the lavender and cerise, cerise. Yeah, these aren't waterproof though, so I find that it's not really for me. Even if I didn't paint and I'm just using this these in my normal pens like for writing or whatever i just like my notes to be waterproof and these are just oh the, these are brush cap brush cap protectors i don't know why they're here just because i guess and then this is you know extra empty ink tank tube things random paper clip and these are loose nibs that I bought from AliExpress with this hull. Whoops. Um, I didn't buy all of this. It came in like a pack. It was pretty cheap. If I could find the links of these, I'll put them down below for you guys. I, I think I bought a few sizes because I wasn't sure which one would fit. But like, yeah, this one's... Focus. So these two are both Fude nibs or bent nibs. Yeah. I bought them to basically put in these ones, but like I said, these are pretty heavy, so I ended up not using them. But yeah, I'll probably play with these some more later on. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's my... This is my fountain pen collection stuff. Fountain pen and inks. What do you think? I think I have room to buy more. <laughs> okay, maybe let's let's not enable me, okay? But seriously though, guys, if I if I give these away, I think I'm keeping these. Let let's see. And we're going to put them back in my drawer here. And we're gonna assess together, okay? If if I give away, so I want I'm definitely keeping these and these I, I wanna keep, but this one realistically I wouldn't use this at all because it's heavy, so put them in the middle. I don't know, you guys tell me. I'm really I know myself that I definitely won't use this for writing or whatever because it's heavy, but I want to keep it because of the color, you know? And it's it's not like they're gonna make this color anymore, but, but I'll never use it, what do I do? So you guys tell me, comment down below if I should keep this, put it in this pile, or if it should go into the giveaway pile, okay? Let me know. Right now it's gonna be in the middle. These ones I'll keep. What kind of color collection is this? I thought I wanted to go for pink and purple, or like pink lilac and all that, but what's up with these two? Hmm, okay, I might have to reassess my collection. Anyways, so here, this. What do you think, guys? Should I just donate them to a school, or should I look online for like a group of 
of fountain pen people to who want it? I don't know. What am I supposed to do with these if I don't want them? I mean, this one this one practically doesn't even work anymore, I think, but I don't know if like you could reuse the body for something. All right. I think I have a total of 3 questions for you guys. Firstly, question number 1. Where does this go? Should I keep it or should I put it into the giveaway pile? Okay? Question number two is, what should I do with this pile? Just donate them or find someone who will actually love them and appreciate them and, you know, stuff like that. So third and last question, if this is my collection right now, what do you think? Should I give in into my temptation and buy more <laughs> fountain pens or, or should I stop? Right? I mean, technically, I should stop because I have more than I'll ever use. I only have two hands and one for writing. Okay, that's it for today, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you go through all that, but I hope you had fun watching me go through my fountain pen and, and you know, considering all this. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated. Oh, and I forgot to add that if you want to see any of the fountain pens that were in this video, do let me know down below if you want like an in-depth look at each each one or like a review on the, the AliExpress ones or any of the ones that were in this video. I don't think I'll be doing another video, honestly, but if you're interested in it and you'd like a review on, you know, how how I put the nibs together or how I change the nibs, what I do with them, or even a review on some of the ones on there. Cause I know like, you know, not everyone on AliExpress reviews those pens. Um, so yeah, do let me know if you, you want to know more about those. So, so that I know that you want to know so I can make a video on it. <laughs> okay. Thanks guys. Bye.